Hey everyone, Sam from Wargamer Online again, and I'm going to show you a very quick tip today just showing you how to paint OSL or object source lighting. And a lot of people do this using an airbrush or other methods, generally an airbrush because it's easy to do. You just blast it straight onto the surface and that's your object source lighting effect done. But painting it with a brush takes a, a little bit more work normally but this is a very quick and easy way of doing it and it only uses one paint you could do two paints like i'm going to do today but you can do one and it does the majority of the work for you this clip was taken from a full video which is going to go up on wargameronline.com so if you've got a premium membership on there you'll be able to watch the entire necromancer video of how i painted it along with everything else that we produce to put up on the premium part of the website so thanks for everyone who is already a premium member we can't do it without you and thanks to everyone who's watching this and you know commenting and liking on the content that we put out but hopefully this video will help you okay so the first color we're going to be using is goblin flesh and this is from scale 75 so there's loads of different versions of greens you can use just use whichever you want so you can see the paint I, I tested it on the glove there it's very very thin you need it at least 50 50 generally i'd do 70 uh, percent water with 30 percent paint and you can see i'm just uh, at, like applying it to the area where i want the lighting effect to be so i'm imagining it's going to be coming from his hand and i'm also going to have some from his eyes in a moment but uh, basically is creating some sort of energy so the brightest part will be his, his hand his palm and it's going to be glowing down onto his wrist area on his inner wrist and i'm also going to make it look like it's coming through his like fingers the gaps in his fingers so you can see how thin this paint is you have to finish the rest of the model first because this will just tint it it's not going to cover it we don't want it to be too thick so the previous colors will show through but you can add to this is the main thing. Um, you're better off thinning the paint more, applying a full layer, letting it dry, and then doing another layer rather than putting it on really thick. So just remember that. And um, build it up as much as you want. And we're gonna use two colors for this, but the majority of it is done with this goblin flesh color. If you were using Games Workshop colors, I'd probably say moot green from Games Workshop would work perfectly well and then you just add a little bit of yellow or something to it for the final color we're going to do the same thing with the eyes so these have been painted obviously with the white beforehand and we're just going to trickle some of this green into the sockets and onto the top of his cheek but the paint is really thin you can see i'm just testing it on the back of my glove to make sure it's thin and making sure i'm not putting too much on at a time because i don't want it to trickle all the way down his face because then they'll look um it'll look more like a zombie than a, a wizard so you can see I've just turned the model on its side, I'm just applying it into the eye socket and then I'm dragging it down onto his cheek a little bit. Let the coat fully dry as well and then you can add a second or a third or a fourth coat of this and build it up as, as you expect the model to end up or how you want it to look. But it's, it's a very easy way to achieve a lighting effect and the final model looks great I, I think you know um, the thing that stands out is his glowing hand and his glowing eyes and there's probably better ways to paint this this is just such a straightforward way to do it that I thought it'd be worth showing you and you might want to apply this on your models somewhere you don't need an expensive airbrush you don't need to faff around with anything like that you literally just apply thin down paint of whichever glowy color you want to the area that you want to be glowing and uh, build it up in stages and be patient and it would look fantastic in the end so the final one that i've used here is toxic waste green and you can see i'm very sparing with this i'm only really painting it on the uh, the closest part to where the, the the magic effect will be coming from so literally from the eyes or from the center of his palm and you want to build this up very sparingly you don't want to cover the whole thing so you can see i'm just going down the wrist here i'm just adding a little bit it's not too much it's still very very thin so it's not going to be very overpowering you want the the van braces or the whatever they're called the braces to be showing through more than the glow effect and that is the glow effect done let us know if this has helped you in any way shape or form please give us a like because that helps promote the channel as a whole it doesn't cost you a penny but it definitely helps us so uh, we appreciate everyone who presses that like button as i said before if you uh, want to watch the full video there is a, a premium subscription available 
on our website and that gives you access to a load of different uh, premium videos which are like 15 to 20 minutes long some of them are, are less but the full video of how I painted the necromancer is on there so anybody who wants to see that can head over there other than that thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video